Hello everyone, today is April 3rd, 2012, and on this date in 1986, IBM released their very first portable laptop computer. This model moved away from the old luggable portable type computers like the IBM 5155 and the compact portable and into the laptop world. And as you can see, it has a modem on the back. And open it up. This is the first IBM computer to use the three and a half inch disk drives, 720 kilobyte. And it has an 8088 processor at 4.77 megahertz, I believe. And this one is upgraded to the full 640 kilobytes of RAM. Now, this particular machine sold pretty poorly as the competition was already selling laptops with hard drive as an optional feature. And they also had 286 processors, which were significantly faster than the 8088. So, we'll go ahead and boot it up and take a look at it. Now, the first thing you'll notice when it's booted up is that the text is incredibly hard to read. Now, this is the first model of the IBM 5140 PC convertible. So, it is just a standard CGA screen monochrome. And it is not backlit, and so it's very difficult to read. I'll go ahead and turn it on and show you what I mean. There's a few dead lines toward the bottom of the screen, but that's to be expected on a computer this old. Checks out the disk drives, and as you can see, I've already been using it, so it skips the full boot cycle and just boots straight up into DOS 3.3. We'll zoom in a little bit here, see if you can get an idea of how hard this is to read. Now, even in light conditions like it is right now, it's very difficult to read. You can adjust the contrast of the screen, but that doesn't help as much. This looks better than anything else for the video, so we'll leave it like this. Now, later models had a backlit screen, which actually made it quite easy to read. However, by that time, it was pretty much too late to salvage the 5140. So we'll go ahead and check out a game and some virus simulators that I have. We'll check out Space Quest 2, because this game already comes on 720 kilobyte floppy disks. Gotta open it up. Disk one. And you'll see it's it's next to impossible to play anything on this. Loads up the game. Welcome to Space Quest 2 across the bottom, but it's kind of cut off. So it's got the PC speaker and everything. Chapter 2. Okay, skip the intro. Now that is a space station. Planet Xenon Orbital Station 4. I mean, even with my eyes, this is hard to read, so I can't imagine trying to see this through the video. Welcome aboard, XOS 4. Trying to read text on this is just insanely difficult, especially at night. At night when there's no natural light and you're relying on light bulbs, it's blinding. So, Orbital Station 4 is one of many orbiting Xenon, your home planet. Probably can't even read that. We're just going to go ahead and exit out of the game at this point. Alright, we'll check out a few of our simulators. So you got double-sided, double-density virus floppy. 720 kilobyte. Here we go. So on here we have him, ambulance, cascade, ping pong, and techno. Now since you can barely read the text, we'll 
avoid some of the more invisible viruses like Cascade. There is a ball bouncing around now, we just ran ping pong. It's probably also unseeable. Ambulance. I'll probably get cut off a bit. That's okay, I guess. It's somewhat legible. I guess we'll end this video with everybody's favorite techno. So yeah, that's really about it for the IBM 5140. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. I don't think I'll do many virus demonstrations with this computer, simply because it's impossible to read. So yeah, thanks for watching.